Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. But education has been present ever since the beginning. So why is it the world up to now evolving? They say they train students to think critically and analytically, even develop different values such as generosity, humility, and even minority. But are they really? Personally speaking, I hate school. It fills our minds with all this useless information. We learn how to use the quadratic formula. We learn that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. We learn about the different systems present in the human body. But will all this be relevant to our lives? Will knowing the different systems of the body stop terrorism in our country? Will we be able to use the quadratic formula to solve the worsening problem of poverty? Will knowledge of the mitochondria empower rights and stop inequality? Sadly, the answer to this is no, not at all. They make us go to school for eight straight hours and make us take these quizzes and tests, leaving no time for us to rest. But do not get the wrong idea. Education is still very, very important. The problem is with the system of teaching does not focus on the things which are relevant. But the problem does not only lie with the government and the teachers, it also resides within us. Do not see the good or the benefits education brings. Do not take it seriously and miss out on the important things. We blame the educational system for all these problems without seeing our own shortcomings. With all this being said, the question is, what should we do? What should what we need is to enhance the things in which we are good at, not focus on major subjects like science and math. What we need is to be better than the person we were yesterday and not build competition among the peers and friends we meet every single day. Let's give our educational system another chance. A chance to embrace uniqueness and individuality. So as to prove that, truly, education is a powerful weapon that can change the world. Now you know what the future of our country and society lies within.